I think it's it's weird because like, you know, when I when I first got down with Flip Mode, like Busta, to me Busta, you know, was a pop star. Like I looked at him like I, I was an underground artist. I came from the Lyricist Lounge era. Like I was doing my, my ciphers and my battles. And then I got with Flip Mode and then it was like boop, you know, everything just kinda catapulted to to mainstream success for me. I think um I think one of the things that a lot of artists don't realize is that it's really hard to take on that responsibility of signing artists. I think a lot of artists like go into situations and they, they get these label deals and you know it's a, it's a big check and oh okay I can just put this one out and that one out. But when when it comes time to actually dealing with each individual artist and their situation and and really understanding what works best for that artist and you know acknowledging that the things that work for you might not necessarily work for your artist. Like I think that is something that a lot of artists don't realize until after they've gotten that big label check. So that may have, you know, that may have a lot to do with why Flip Mode as a whole didn't take off success as, I wouldn't say not successfully because we do have you know, we do have a gold album. We were the best new group when we, you know, when we did emerge that year. So we did have success at that time. It's just as the years went on, when it was time for everyone to do their individual ventures, like we went through a lot of label changes. And then Busta, being the workaholic that he is, he just constantly, you know, was feeding the music out. So it was hard for a label to focus on Busta Rhymes and all of his artists and we're still trying to do group stuff and we're still trying to do individual stuff and everyone's not the same type of artist that Busta Rhymes is so all of those factors combined I think just probably really just confused things probably with the mostly with the label and just not really having a you know being eye to eye with the vision and, and stuff so I think there were a lot of mitigating factors, but I can honestly say I know Busta did his best, you know, for for what you know for what was given to him and and everything he had to work with. He he really went to bat for us. I I, I know for a fact he went to bat for me. Like I I can recall many a times where he was on the phone cursing out executives for me and 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 not without a worry as to what repercussions it was going to have on his own personal situation. So, you know, I I, I give him that. I, I think. I think it might have just been a lot at the time, and there were six of us, mm -hmm. you know. So that that's another thing. Now you, so there were a lot of factors involved.